listening to The Mountain Gardener with local expert, Ken Lane. Mountain gardening is very rewarding, with a few of Ken's tips, tricks, and garden shortcuts sure to turn your thumbs even greener. Now welcome back to The Mountain Gardener. All right, back in the studio, Lisa Waters Lane, my favorite gal in all the world, truly, at least for 36 years. <laughs> uh, so before that, still, yeah, it would be besides my mom. Okay. You're my favorite gal besides my mom. Okay. I should send this segment to my mom. You should. <laughs> so anyway, Lisa comes in and just shares her garden tips, just kind of another perspective, another gardener's opinion. Mm -hmm. And I value your opinion and you're just a good gardener. So well, thank you. Welcome back to the studio. Thank you. Good to be back. What do you got for us this, this week? Or what's, what's, what's on your mind? Well, we are going to talk about evergreens. Tis we've season. Gotten, it's a great time to plant those evergreens and we've getting fresh loads in. So it's a great time to find those evergreens. Yeah. But first I want to show something pretty to our, okay. our bloggers. That's cheating. Bloggers, That's not bloggers. That's just. It's not, but this is a little viola. Uh, nice little. It's nice and big. Yeah, it looks oh, good. It's just so pretty. Um, and just, I love violas. They are so tough and they just bloom, bloom, bloom. And I just love the colors on that. But it's badger colors. Badger. Cool. Go, go, go Prescott High. <laughs> we, next next week, we also have Bradshaw and the oh, Cheetah Valley great. colors. So yes. we got all three. We go do, Cougars. But, but we're so, badger alumni. That's true. So, you know, we got. Class of 81. Boy, we just dated ourselves. <laughs> you did. I didn't graduate. I married a gal from 82. <laughs> we did not date through high school. We did not. We dated through college. Yes. We didn't actually meet each other until you just graduated, just before yes. you graduated high school. We lived in different worlds. We did. We're kinda, <laughs> what kind of world did you live in? That's what I'm trying to figure mine out. Was, mine was the, do I really have to go to school? <laughs> ah, really? And yours was the, you love I love school. school. Everything yeah. about school is great. School is a big social, it's like a big old party. Mm -hmm. Meet friends. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can learn something. It doesn't matter. It's about the people. Yeah. Weren't you voted Mr. Spirit yeah. one year? Okay. Yeah, don't yeah. go down that path. So, yes. How we ever found each other, because talk about two church choirs people church choir that's true that's it yeah. you sang in a church choir traveling church choir traveled the roads mm -hmm. of north america singing in churches and malls <laughs> and uh, parks around the country i and, think uh, i think there's some cassette tapes out there <laughs> <laughs> that's really dating us oh my gosh not even a, a cd or anything oh, oh, there, not, there can cassette. you even get either one you can't get a cassette oh, so you can get records now Oh, that's but you can't get yeah. CDs. I don't know if you can get a CD or not. I think you can. You can get CDs. So. I mean, my car I just bought doesn't even, doesn't have, even have a CD player. Everything's hard drive. Right. You, you load it ahead of time. Um, I, we have friends that traveled up to Alaska. They drove their trailer. Yeah. They were gone for like two, three months. I said, well, what do you do when the satellite radio goes out just over the border because the satellites can't reach it? Because what do you do? He goes, well, you know, Ken, uh, my wife, she brought uh, her iPod. <laughs> she did what? I haven't heard that word in a while. You didn't even load it to your phone. It's like uh, it's an iPod. I have a separate hard drive just for my music. It's crazy how fast things, things change. change. Not that long ago. No. Yeah. no. That's called legacy technology. Mm -hmm, yeah. What we don't want are legacy plants. True. We go back, finger, wrap it up into gardening well, Look advice. at you do that segue. There we go. It's like I'm a good interviewer or something. <laughs> legacy evergreens. You're doing evergreens? Yes. Evergreens yes. in the garden. Right. You'll want some. And these are the best. These are top 10. And that's why he was voted Mr. Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> and I also, was not. Also, alumni of the year, you have Pi College. Ooh, there we go. Let's see if I ever won anything. No. Okay. All right. Evergreen. So we got some nice ones in. We have more coming in. So we're even going to have more than what we have right oh, now. Yeah. Uh, but we got a really nice shipment of baby blue spruce in. Mm. So this is that. Uh, it's kind of a newer version. They're always coming out with new versions, right? Yeah. So it's the newer version. It is a very pretty silvery blue color, and it'll keep that color. So it's, it's very it's thicker nice too. It's like yeah, it's like 
more layers. It's got like a Colorado spruce only with an extra layer in between. Mm -hmm. It's very tight. Right. And then it's extremely blue. Like you said, it's not right. even blue. It's silver. It's crazy. Yeah. It's very attractive. Uh, and these are great because they've been grown specially for us. So yeah. they, they are well rooted out. They're going to take uh, and do well in our area. So that's very important. They're kind of a little slow growing, which probably for some of our yards are terrific. Because uh, it'll take them a while to get up to that 10 to 15, but they'll eventually get up to that 20, 30 easily. Yeah. Yeah, um, but just really pretty color, great Christmas specimen tree. tree. Yeah, just, it's a it's a holiday tree. Right. You just want to put Christmas lights on it, and it will glow in the dark. Yeah, that kind of thing. Very very pretty tree. One like I said, nice specimen tree. Yeah. If you want a special tree, uh, we also got some Vanderwolf pines That's in. That's an unusual one. Which is a really pretty kind of a two tone needle kind of green and silvery yeah. actually very soft like we always call it the teddy bear it's tree. It's the softest yeah. of all the conifers. You mm -hmm. just want to hug it and you it do. hugs you back. It's the only <laughs> conifer that will hug you back. It's true. Usually when we unload conifers, spruce, we're we're like covered in rashes yeah. for days. Okay. But the Vanderwolves were like, oh, okay, we love you. Yeah. We'll put you down. But just a real pretty long needle pine tree. Um, it does well in our area. Our neighbor has a beautiful one. Stunning. Um, so it's a great one to look at as well. Bosnian pine, which is very similar to the Austrian pine. It just yeah. doesn't get as large. Am I right half, on that? Half size. Right. Yeah, second. It's still a long needle pine. Mm -hmm. I don't know, two, three inches long. Very green. Yes. And very thick. Mm -hmm. uh, very much a solid trunk. Central leader. Very much layered like a pine tree. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't grow as fast. So for those smaller yards, it's right. almost preferred mm -hmm. over an Austrian pine or definitely better than a ponderosa. Which right. They get, ponderosa, you're just planting a trunk. Just, <laughs> there's no real tree. It's the trees up there. You don't see it. It's a trunk. So those are definitely cool. We do have the Austrians yeah. as well, which do get up 30 feet, 15 feet wide yeah. or so, maybe more. Uh, fast growing. So if, you want, if you're want, if you looking for yeah. a green tree, you need to knock, you know, Block that neighbor that's building a house behind you or their RV garage, yeah. something like that. It's a great tree for that. That's Austrian. Yeah, they've got some, mm -hmm. it's got to be 10 feet tall out there. Well, huge. we got some huge ones. I think that's another one. People go, oh, you only have small ones. Well, you got to be early for the big mm -hmm. ones because big ones take, those must be 12 years old. So they're planted least. back in yeah. 2010, 11. They mm -hmm. just came in and when they're gone, it's not like you go, hit a hit a time machine button you go back to you know 10 years and you yeah. have another 10 footer out right there. you can't go you back to the factory yeah, no definitely there, there are some big beautiful ones yeah. there um oregon green pine which there again those all three of those guys are kind of related so the oregon green is even smaller it gets 10 to 12 feet uh, a little bit shorter needle very very green and more compact yeah. i would say so another good one for those small spaces. I would say the Oregon green, if I relate them to pine mm -hmm. trees, is kind of like the baby blue spruce is mm -hmm. to spruce trees. It's got an extra layer. It's yeah. just thicker. It's got yeah. more pattern to it, mm -hmm. which is very striking. It but is. very, very green. One's very green. One's very blue or silver. Mm -hmm. And they, they're they companions. Right. They like to grow with each other. They do. All right. That's with the pines. So then we move into the Arizona cypress. Ooh. So, and that's when we have kind of all different sizes on fives, 10s, 15, 20s. Um, just a, it's an indigenous tree for here. So if you're of that ilk that you want to put a tree in and after a few years, you just want to go, I don't want to keep watering that tree. Yeah. Uh, Cypress, you can just go, okay, get them to a certain age. And then you just go take care of yourself. Go be strong, little bird to leave the nest. But <laughs> Where did that come from? I don't know. I'm just thinking indigenous uh, uh, People's uh, Day. People's Day was or Columbus <laughs> Day, whatever you want to call it, was like you know a few days ago. Right. Uh we should we should encourage the city or some group to plant an indigenous Arizona Cypress on that day to mark the day to we celebrate the, on the courthouse. Maybe we get to the the, the Yavapai yeah, Nation. We could see if they would want mm. to plant some at the casino or something. There's gotta yeah. be a way. It just sounds good. Indigenous tree for indigenous people. We're gonna plant Well, this we're running out of time, so oh, yeah, I'm gonna sorry. cut you off. I had a, had a thought. <laughs> So uh, there's the regular Arizona cypress, the, the true native one. And then there's a cousin called the icy blue. Yeah. Um, and it is silvery blue. There again, you can definitely see a 
difference oh, yeah. in the coloring on it. Um, and it doesn't get quite as large either, probably 20 feet, or is a regular Once you're one. you're above 15 feet, they're all just big. Matter. So just they're big. <laughs> a little, little more slower growing yeah. than the regular Arizona yeah. cypress, but just stick, really though. pretty. Yeah. Yeah. I just love I the color. I mentioned it. too, a lot of folks don't realize, but you really do want to buy your conifers, these trees, you can't just grow them in a field. These are all grown in, in fields. Dig them up, put them in a pot, bring them to the nursery and have them have them live. Mm -hmm. You want to dig them in a field. You, you, you dig them up, you transfer them into a container or a ball and burlap. Mm -hmm. Then you root them on for another year. Then you bring them in. It's a lot of garden centers, they take the shortcut and they bring them right in. Yeah. And then you struggle because you plant, they died like the, the next spring. To really and they wouldn't them. take the extra step. It drives me crazy. Sometimes, folks, it's not you. It's the person that sold you the plant that gave you the wrong plant or didn't take the time to get rid of it anyway. We're out of time. Yeah, I, come back. I didn't finish my list. But... So, can Elisa Lane, the Mountain Gardeners, be right back after this? Prescott Blaze Maple is the fastest local tree with brilliant red foliage. Prescott Blaze Maples grow three feet each year. That's fast. Prescott Blaze Maples are perfect for patios or any place a shade tree is needed. We have a limited number of huge, instant Prescott Blaze Maples, but the $249 size is exceptionally nice. The maples are brighter in Prescott at Waters Garden Center. Or shop online at top10trees.com. For more tips, tricks, and garden shortcuts through Ken's website, podcast the show, read his weekly garden column, or follow him on Facebook and Instagram at watersgardencenter.com. That's waters with two T's, gardencenter.com.